March 9th, St. Francis of Rome. Francis was born at Rome in 1384. Her parents were of high rank. They overruled her desire to become a nun and at twelve years of age married her to Lorenzo Ponziano, a Roman noble. During the forty years of their married life, they never had a disagreement. While spending her days in retirement and prayer, she attended promptly to every household duty, saying, A married woman must leave God at the altar to find him in her domestic care. And she once found the verse of a psalm in which she had been four times thus interrupted completed for her in letters of gold. Her ordinary food was dried bread. Secretly, she would exchange with beggars good food for their hard crusts. Her drink was water, her cup a human skull. During the invasion of Rome in the year 1413, Ponziano was banished, his estates confiscated, his house destroyed, and his eldest son taken as hostage. Francis saw in these losses only the finger of God and blessed his holy name. When peace was restored, Ponziano recovered his estate and Francis founded the Oblates. After her husband's death, barefoot and with a cord about her neck she begged admission to the community and she was soon elected superioress she lived always in the presence of god and amongst many visions was given constant sight of her guardian angel who shed such brightness around him that the saint could read her midnight office by this light alone he shielded her in the hour of temptation and directed her in every good act but when she was betrayed into some defect he faded from her sight and when some light words were spoken before her he covered his face in shame she died on the day she had foretold march ninth in the year fourteen forty god has appointed an angel to guard each one of us to whose warnings we are bound to attend let us listen to his voice here and we shall see him hereafter when he leads us before the throne of god